There are times that your customer asks you to change something in his KNX installation that requires only a couple of minutes. For example, to change the push button in a KNX switch in order to control a different light. First solution is to go to your customer's house and make the change. With this solution though, you will spend more time to go there than the actual change. The second solution is to connect to the KNX installation remotely. As you already know, the default IP port of the KNX IP port interface is the 3671. So, in order to access this port remotely from outside world, you will need port forwarding. But port forwarding in KNX is a big security risk. It is like to give in a stranger the keys for your house. That's why you should always avoid port forwarding. So, the best solution for remote access in KNX is VPN, Virtual Private Network. You can set up a VPN connection using a router that supports VPN, or using a KNX device with embedded VPN server, or using one home remote access. In order to start using remote access service, you will need a one home device, like one home bridge that I have already reviewed. So, if you haven't already watched it, you will find the link in the description. Let me explain you how it works. One home device opens an encrypted connection between a customer's smart home server and one home cloud system. Then there are two solutions for securing a connection between client application or ETS and the cloud system. In case of HTTP and HTTPS protocol, the communication can be protected with 12 character secure key. In case of UDP and TCP like ETS, a modified VPN type is used. In comparison to a VPN which normally establishes a connection to your router and with that enables access to all devices in the network, one home solution is dedicated only on your smart home devices. So, let's start. Visit one home official web page. By the way, Black Friday is coming, so visit one home's website for great discounts. Login with your account. Click on the three lines button. Click on Remote Access. You can activate VPN for two users. My Access gives access to the owner of the house, while Installer Access gives access to the professional installer. I will enable both. When enabling a user for the first time, you have to enter a password for protecting the security certificates. You need to remember this password since it is not stored by one home. Likewise, give a password for the installer. Any mail with the certificates and the instructions will be sent automatically to the users. The email will look like this one. We will come back to this later. Select your one home device. I will select my one home bridge. Click on Configure. Allow installer to configure KNX devices using KNX ETS app remotely by selecting Using VPN Connection. If you want, you can add custom connections and to other devices, such as cameras, etc., but I will skip this for now. Click on Save Configuration. From the email, download the P12 file and the SER file. I will create the VPN connection in Windows 10, so let's continue in Windows. Double click the P12 file to open the certificate import wizard. Select current user and click next. Check the P12 file path and click next. Enter the password for the client certificate you entered when enabling remote access for this user. Keep only Include all extended properties ticked and click Next. Choose Automatically select the certificate store based on the type of certificate and click Next. Click Finish. Click Yes to install this certificate. Click Windows Start menu. Type Manage Computer Certificates and open it.
right click on Trusted Root Certification Authorities and choose All Tasks and Import. The store location will be Local Machine. Click Next. Browse for the share file that we downloaded earlier and open it. Click Next. The Certificate Store option will be the specific store, Trusted Root Certification Authorities. Click Next. Click Finish. Click Windows Start menu, type VPN and click Add the VPN connection. Click the plus button. VPN provider will be Windows built-in. Give a connection name, for example, One Home VPN. Server name or address will be vpn.voxure.com. VPN type will be iKey version 2. Type of sign-in info will be certificate. Username and password should be blank. Click Save. Now I will disconnect from my Wi-Fi and I will connect over 4G through my iPhone. Click One Home VPN and connect. Now open ETS. Click on Bus. Add IP tunneling. Give a name. As server, you need to go back to One Home Dashboard. and copy the URL address without the port. Copy port number from One Home Dashboard and type it here. Select Connect using NAT mode. Click on Test. Remote connection is working. So select it. Let's try it. First, I will check Group Monitor from Diagnostics. Group monitor is working. I will try individual address check. I will set this device in programming mode. And I will try a full download. I will try to restart one device. Finally, I will try line scan. Everything works great. Remote access from one home looks indeed a great solution. More KNX tutorials are coming, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.